I thought I'd take a break from tile maps to talk about a common issue. For my tile map tiles, I manually scaled 16 pixel tiles to 64 pixels. This was so that the tiles would be visible on my large screen. But I know many of you are working on different screen sizes, and when you make your games you want them to look good on all screens. This is especially true when working with pixel art. When you use Love's window settings, you typically define a pixel width and height, and Love will create a window at that size. But it might be too big or too small for some of your player's monitors. One thing you could do is define a target screen size, get the user's screen size and work out the ratio difference between the two. Then you can scale the canvas size. But this could be difficult to manage, especially if the screen size changes mid-game or you're using shaders. Because of this, I typically use an add-on library called Push. You can download it from this website at the link in the description. Okay, so I'm back here in Visual Studio Code, and I'm doing the very standard thing of using Love Windows Set Mode uh, create my window with all the usual settings. Now my window width and window height is being set to get desktop dimensions. If you didn't know already, get desktop dimensions just gets the size of my current monitor, my current screen, and, uh, and then I'm going to scale that to 80% because I want it to be a little smaller than the screen so I can see the close button and stuff. And then the other thing I'm doing is drawing a logo here. So let's have a look at that. This is my logo for my game studio, Studio Boshi. Now, I know this logo is still a work in progress, but it's only 320 by 240 pixels, which is very small, and that's what I want to make my game size. So let's run that and see how it looks. And yeah, as you imagined, it's very small. So we're going to fix that now. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded the push library and I've stored it in this folder here, lib. So I'm going to store that in a variable. So I'm going to do push equals require lib.push where I have the library. So the whole library is going to be stored in this push variable. So now we're not going to use love window set mode. Instead I'm going to use pushes function. So push setup screen but we actually need one more thing we need the size of our virtual screen like th our target size for our game so I'm gonna call that virtual width I'm gonna make that 320 and I'll do virtual height which is gonna be 240 pixels so the size of my logo and how big I want my game to be. So I'm gonna pass that in here. And then the other thing I need is the actual window size. So I'm gonna just pass in what I had before, window width and window height. And then the other thing I need are my parameters. So these are gonna be the same as what I have for love, but now I'm gonna pass that into push instead. So full screen equals false. Uh, vsync equals true and of course there are a lot of other settings I could pass in to push but for now I think that will be enough but there's one more thing I have to do um, I actually have to tell push to start drawing with that size and then I also have to indicate when to stop drawing at that size and then everything I want to draw my game has to go between the start and the finish functions and one thing I like to do is just indent that so I can see very clearly. Okay, I'll save that. Let's see how that looks. Okay, much better. So now, like, our logo actually fits on the screen, but there's one problem, of course, that it's very blurry right now uh, because of OpenGL's ways of drawing textures that it uses uh, some sort of filtering that interpolates between neighboring pixels. So what we want to do is actually just set the filtering mode to nearest neighbor. So to do that, I'm going to do love graphics set default filter, and I'm going to use nearest. 
So that's just going to tell it that when it draws the textures to use the nearest pixel and not interpolate. Okay, save that and let's see how that looks. Okay, much better. You know, because this is pixel art, we want it to be crisp like this. But then the last thing I need to address is the screen size. Right now I can't change my screen size. Like what I could do is I could just pass in uh, resizable equals true here. And that will allow me to resize my window. But if I, if I just resize my window, you can see that it does not actually resize the game, the game view. So to do that, we need to create a callback function. So this is a built-in callback function called resize. And it's going to take in a new width and a new height. And then we pass that into pushes resize. So push, resize, and then we just pass in that width and height. Okay, now if I save that, I should be able to resize my window and my game. Okay, great. So there it is, and I can make it full screen as well if I want to. So I can make my game any size now and it will look good. Um, you know, I could have it on my laptop screen and my big screen TV and it will look like the same game. And I think that's very useful, especially if you're working with pixel art. So if you found this video useful, like and subscribe. See ya.